Waste your breath. Waste my breath, yeah, Scott. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Freestyle. I'm Scott. And I'm Clint. And it's Tuesday, so we're doing our top five Tuesdays. And this week, we're going to be looking at our top five favorite Robin Williams movies. For no reason whatsoever. No reason. We just picked this because, you know, it's Tuesday. And coming in at number five, we got Aladdin. One of my favorite childhood movies. Um, I always enjoyed... It's like they kind of cracked the code on Disney movies, because before that, it was almost exclusively, like, girly movies. There was, like, Peter Pan and stuff, but, like, Aladdin was, like... It was a really good... Yeah. You know, for a musical, it was a musical that you could enjoy as a boy. It was a musical for dudes <laughs> that weren't gay. <laughs> um, and I've always... uh I really, still aren't gay. That's still... <laughs> we're still not gay, Internet. <laughs> but um, I really always enjoyed the great animation... And, like I said, I always thought it was a good action-adventure, especially for a young, growing boy like me. Yeah, and it was also very, very funny. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like, specifically for the Rob Williams part of this uh, part, you know, he was almost a uh, person made to be a cartoon, the way he's, like, already so animated as it is. And with this movie, they were able to, like, keep up with him. You know, he's, like, fast-paced, saying all kinds of crazy shit and whatnot, turning into all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah. You know, definitely. Definitely, like, steals the whole movie. And coming in at number four is Patch Adams, which is a movie about Robin Williams who first goes to a mental institution and realizes that, oh, dang, Dr. Shea, and decides to be the best doctor ever. Yeah, that was um, one of my favorite things about it, is that it's like he realizes, oh, these doctors are shitty, instead of just getting out of there and being like, oh, these doctors are shitty, like... He decides, well, fuck this. I'm gonna do something about it. I'm gonna go become a. I'm gonna go become the best doctor ever. Yeah, like that one scene where he was like, he's helped this uh, one patient in there more than he's had than like any other doctor by just like you know playing games where he's like, let's shoot the squirrels. Yeah. The invisible squirrels that you see, so you can go take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, it was like it's one of those movies where it's like about like you know, you know, someone trying to change like a broken system and whatnot. And it like, you know, it's sad at a lot of parts and whatnot, but it's still like Rob Williams pretty much just carries the whole movie on his shoulders, with him being like, not too crazy, like genie, like yeah, crazy funny, but he's still like, you know, got like a personality in that movie that just you know, everybody gets on for the most part gets on board or whatever, and it just, you know, I think like the probably the most crazy joke he does in that whole movie is the. The part where the gynecologists uh, come to convene and he's made the uh, door look like he has like two propped up legs and he's just coming out of the vagina door <laughs> being like, hey, come on in. Wasn't um wasn't that the movie where like he made like the whole pool full of jello or something like that? Uh, it was someone who was all like, you know, what did you want to do? He was all like, when I was a kid, I always wanted to swim in spaghetti. And he was all like, how about balloon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't got spaghetti, but here, yeah, I mean, whatever. But at the end of the fucking movie, he was all like, I did get the spaghetti and the balloon. <laughs> all right, coming in at number three, we got Mrs. Doubtfire. And this, personally, this is a movie, well, I think anyone who grew up in my age group, probably watched this movie a million times, because, you know, who, what parent doesn't want their kid to watch a movie about some cross-dresser breaking in the houses to hang out with kids? That he's not supposed to be, like, <laughs> near legally. <laughs> he's legally not allowed to be around, so much so <laughs> that they had to get Pierce Brosnan, James Bond, to protect the house. But even he almost died. <laughs> yeah. He almost took him out. <laughs> with a fish. Um, yeah, I, um... I always enjoy, I mean, as a kid, I didn't think it was as ridiculous, but now, like, looking back, it's just like, it's such a ridiculous story <laughs> that he would go through full body. Like, and that anybody got on board with this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, this is the best plan. This, what do you mean this is a bad plan? This is a good one. What kind of a team of accomplices like that? All right, and next on the list is Hook. Do you know that movie about Peter Pan and that guy with the hook? For a hand. Um, yeah, I always, uh, whenever I was a kid, I really, really liked this movie. I always thought it had great action, and, I mean, I've always had a thing for Tinkerbell, so whenever Julia Roberts was playing Tinkerbell, it's just like, we're goddamn, Julia Roberts is too fucking sexy. Yeah, and, uh, I guess, like, my, probably my favorite part of that whole movie is, like, that, that food fight yeah. that happens and whatnot. It, like, has that cool little part where he's just calling him all those stupid kid names and whatnot, and then flicks that thing in his face. 
Oh, so great. And it actually, yeah, it actually hits them. It's just like, oh my god, that food's so delicious looking. Makes me hungry just thinking about it. Right. Um, and I always uh, enjoyed that they were able to continue the story of Peter Pan, even though it wasn't like official canon, but as far as I'm concerned, it was. Robin Williams really was Peter Pan. Yeah. But I mean, like, of all the people to get who was like a kid at heart, but like a grown up man, I feel like Robin Williams like fits that bill perfectly. Is it too morbid to say he's now gone off to Neverland? Yes. And coming in at number one, we got Goodwill Hunting. Um, just recently talked about this on the throwback, but I had to put it on this list because it is one of my favorite movies ever. I think anyone who enjoys Robin Williams probably has seen this movie and would agree. Um, I mean, it has amazing everything, like amazing story, great actors, great. That's one of his better um, serious roles that he did. Yeah, yeah. It was actually the first time I seen him in a serious role. Before that, it was all comedies and, you know, whatever. And, like, it, I, people had always said, like, oh, he's so good in Goodwill Hunting, he's so serious. And it's just like, I couldn't, like, really see him as that. But then it was just like, once it got to that scene where he was just like, I will fucking end you. Like, you're just like, uh, I like them in Insomnia. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, Clint. <laughs> You're the man. All right, well, I guess that's going to do it for this week's Top 5 Tuesday. Um, the sad you, edition. The sad edition, yeah. The feels edition. Um, but if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, Facebook, Twitter, um, all that other normal beggy stuff people do. Uh, other than that, I'm Scott. I'm Clint. And... Have, let's have a moment of silence. Stop waving. <laughs> <laughs>